Hi guys, it's Amy with Aim to Plan, and I am back with a Plan With Me in Sophia's memory book. So even though it's all outdated, we're actually going to be planning for the week of April the 3rd through the 9th. And I actually have not had time yet just because it's been so busy. I haven't had time to print out my normal labels to redate. Um, and so I'm just going to white it out. And we are going to just kind of like leave it blank and I will add it later. Um, but normally what I do is just kind of pull, like print out my own like April and then just the numbers um, and then also some labels for putting on this side um, but again since I didn't have time yet like it has been so busy with like wedding planning and just like work I have been really bad with like I think it's a little bit of burnout just like not feeling super great I've been at work, I haven't had to miss any days. So physically I've been there, but mentally I feel like I've just kind of checked out. Um, so anyway, just, just kind of chatting a little bit about it. Um, I went ahead and whited it out and I'll do the dates after, but basically I put April three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this one I label for Sophia's um, dad's side of the family. Then this is Sophia's row. This is for my side of the family. These are, this line is for her grandparents. And then this is for any news. Um, and so I used the same set of labels for that. I just didn't print it out um, again. And then what I decided to do was, um, since spring is like kind of in full bloom here, um, in my area at least, I pulled these two sheets of pressed florals. I am going to try to keep it a little bit simpler just because I want to have enough room to write things. I've fallen off a little bit of like using her planner just because we have been so busy. So I want this week to be like as much journaling and photos and things like that as possible. And so I do a lot of like adding stickers as we go along and adding pictures and adding notes. Um, so I want to leave enough room for all of that and keep it fairly like, I mean, it will still be pretty, but like keep it fairly um, simple so that way I'm not taking up too much room so that, that I have plenty of room to write. Um, and so I'm going to actually use some of these decorative stickers um, and kind of have those on the page and then add some florals and I mean it'll be very simple I think. Um, so I'm going to start with this one right here. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing this is because um, Sophia recently um, went with me to Hobby Lobby and she found the this planner, the Press Florals planner. It is a horizontal. Um, I told her that we were gonna start it in the summer, but she has been very anxious to kind of get into it. And so I think that I'll be okay with kind of letting her start it a little bit early. And so we're gonna start it in April. Um, and so having the spread be kind of the, okay, we're gonna get into the planner, into your, into your horizontal planner and use it as a handwriting planner. Um, yeah, we're, she's excited about it. And so I think we're, we're gonna just do it. We're gonna add it to the lineup. And so with that being said, I don't know if I want to keep it separate or if I want to add it into my Franken planner. So those things are still kind of up in the air. Um, if I keep it separate, I'm wondering if I should go ahead and move her like two sections, the question and answer, and then her memory book. And then also now the third one, the handwriting planner into its own little system. Um, so I don't know though, I do, memory plan on the go sometimes but also sometimes it's just nice to have it be separate you know she just wants her own thing so I might just create her like her own little book um okay so I'm gonna put that like that I love the teacher layout just because it does have the lines already um and so I don't have to worry too much about like having something be written like crooked or just like be off um, just because of the lines and I also don't really need boxes for for my other planner sometimes I use boxes just to kind of designate big events but in Sophia's planner this memory book here I just kind of use the lines um, sometimes I will use boxes to designate big events but we actually don't really have anything super um, this one is kind of like a wonder if I should do that. Um, so this week we don't actually have anything big. I, I call this our recovery week because um, I'm recording this video a little bit early, but like we're moving into like Friday and Saturday is Sophia's cousins, uh, my niece's wedding. And so we're going to be like super busy with that. And so this week is the recovery week. <laughs> we are just going to relax 
and just enjoy a like short break from like running around, you know? Um, so we do have a couple of things coming up for Sophia. She wants to have a play date this weekend um, with her family. So, I mean, I'll, I'll get all of those things in here. I'm trying to stay within the same kind of color palette. The green I thought worked, even though it's like way different than some of these other colors, but I don't want to pull in the blues really. All right, so I want to use this. I'm actually wondering if I should add them together. No, I'll do it like this. Sometimes I like to just cut them in half and then like split them like that. And I think that looks really cute, you know? All right, and I think I'm pretty much done. The only thing is, as I'm continuing to look at it, this little piece, I should have trimmed some more of the white off. So I'm gonna do that right there. Okay, that's much better. And then I feel like I'm missing something kind of like, like right here and right here maybe. So I think what I'll do is like, maybe add this like, and then I'll do a cluster of maybe three on this side. I tried to leave the second row open just because that is like Sophia's row. And so, you know, if we have anything happening, it will probably be in that little section. Okay. All right, I know it's fairly simple, but I think that's what I want. I really am feeling like it's springy enough for me, but also I need it to be like just a really nice and calming spread for the week, um, especially like recovering from a wedding, like a major wedding. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna call it done. I hope you like this spread. Again, I will probably add stickers, move stickers around, add photos, add journaling. So it will be filled out at the end of the week. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.